Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, using these products that I'm just showing you guys here, I'm going to be creating a quick gel polish and nail foil design. So these foils are from the Glitter Nail Angel and today I decided to use this abstract looking one. I thought it was a little different than your usual Christmas look. I'm just going to cut out a small section of the foil. I like to cut the foil slightly bigger than what I need just so I've got something to hold on to and so I can play around with how to position it and stuff. And then I've buffed a display tip just to take away the shine so that the gel polish has something to adhere to. And then here I'm using this gel polish from Kiki London. I believe it's called French White. So I've done one coat and then I've popped that in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm just going to come in and do another coat. And then I'll also cure that for 60 seconds. I just wanted to make sure I had a nice bright white base. Annoyingly, there was a bit of fluff or something stuck there. And then I'm going to apply a thin layer of this foil transfer gel and I'm just doing this roughly over three quarters of the nail as I'm not going to be fully covering the nail with the foil. And then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm just going to position my foil into place and begin rubbing it down. Now, as I said in a previous video, this is a little bit tricky to do on a display tip because the display tip is only stuck down with blue tack. When you're pressing down on it, it just wants to fling off. So I took a bit longer pressing it down and rubbing it into place than I would have to do if I was doing it on myself. So yeah, just bear with it. But I'm really trying to make sure that that foil is all stuck down so that the image transfers in one go. And then once I've finished pressing that down, I'm just going to gently peel it off. And as you can see, only a tiny little bit on the end didn't stick down. So what I just do is come back in with that foil just to patch that up a little bit. And then, like I said, when I was applying the transfer gel, I didn't want this foil to fully cover the whole entire nail tip as I'm going to be coming in with some glitter. And the glitter I'm using today is also from the Glitter Nail Angel. And this one's called It's Snowing. So it's basically a fine white glitter base with some iridescent and some silver pieces. But then it also has these chunky snowflakes and Christmas trees, etc. in it. It's a really, really beautiful mix. So for this design, what I've done is on a palette, I've put down a blob of clear gel. And then I've mixed in the finer pieces of glitter. Give that a really good mix and then as you can see I'm just painting it on with a nail art brush and then with that same nail art brush I'm just going into the glitter mix and picking out some of the chunkier pieces that I want to use. So here I went for a hollow Christmas tree and I'm just sort of moving that around I weren't 100% sure how I wanted it positioned and then I just sort of dip into the raw glitter mix to pick up some of the coloured hexes and a snowflake I think as well. And then I also just apply a little bit more of the gel glitter mix just to bring the ombre down over the foil a little bit more. So because it's quite a chunky mix, it is a little bit more tricky to use with gel polish than it is with acrylic. But if you persist with it, you can create a really cute design. And then once I'm happy with how that glitter is all placed, I will pop this in my lamp and I will double cure it. So I cured this in my LED lamp for 120 seconds just to make sure that because the glitter is mixed in with the gel and it's a little bit thicker than a normal thin layer of gel polish. Just I just wanted to make sure that it was all definitely cured and all the glitter was set in place. And then I'm going to come in and top coat the nail. So I decided to top coat with the Kiki London matte top coat. Now I don't find this matte top coat to be a full on matte. I've got other ones that look, you know, a lot more matte. But what I love about this one is it leaves quite a satin finish. And I, I don't know, I really thought that that worked for this design. 
So I'm basically top coating the entire nail and then I'm going to pop it into cure for 60 seconds. However, because I'd applied the glitter and it was a little bit bumpy, I decided to come in and do another layer of that. So then I'll cure that again as well for 60 seconds. And guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you thought of this design. I thought this would look super cute as an accent now in a full set. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you did. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you all again soon. Bye-bye.